Meanwhile, the first ships carrying Chinese goods hit with those new 25 percent tariffs. They're just now arriving at U.S. ports. But who's paying the higher cost? Jane Wells is at the Port of Long Beach. This is where the rubber meets the road, literally. On this ship are the first goods to arrive from China since the new tariffs hit. Things like tires, TV monitors and furniture. And they are being loaded onto trucks to make their way to the American consumer. So who's paying the higher cost? Trump came out and said the American importer would only pay 4% of the tariff and the Chinese 21%. In reality, in my professional opinion, it's actually the opposite. Here's just one example. On that ship are 72,000 bags of dental flossers made in China. Each bag before the tariffs was around 42 cents. Now it's over 48 cents a bag, and that difference alone is over $4,000. Stephen Pereira estimates the new cargo from China is costing American companies $15 million per ship, though some of the larger companies are putting pressure on their Chinese manufacturers. The Chinese do not want to lose the business of the Macy's, the Walmarts, the Targets, the Lowe's, the Home Depots. So there's going to be some type of intermediary uh, device that comes in to help the costs between the vendor and the Home Depot. And the fact is, trade continues. Look at this image from Marine Traffic, which shows all the ships on the Pacific today. The green ones are cargo ships. And while many of them are coming from all over Asia, Nothing compares to this, the traffic out of Shanghai. So what happens if and when tariffs expand to everything we buy from China? I'll give you an example. The foot apparel industry, they will have a loss of approximately about 40 billion a day. Long Beach port chief Mario Cordero says companies are not waiting. They're changing supply chains to countries like Vietnam. For the month of April, China imports increased here in the United States roughly around 2.5 to 2.9 percent. The increase from Vietnam is in double digit. Go ahead now. But change comes with a cost. Economists at the Federal Reserve Bank in New York estimate tariffs this year will cost the average American household over $800. But most of that cost won't be due to the tariffs themselves, but to the money companies are spending to get around them. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells at the Port of Long Beach.